Hi, welcome to The Peaceful Home. I'm Teresa Elling and I'm here with a thrift haul for you today. This was not all purchased in one day. This was over maybe a two week period of going into several stores. I've been on the lookout for things for my guest room that I'm doing for the series of how to decorate a room from start to finish and also for the summer projects that I have coming up, my front porch and my potting bench. And I found some real treasures. And I was just thrilled with this haul. One thing I grabbed at kind of a thrift boutique was this vintage rolling pin, and it was a bit more expensive, $4.95. But um, still, at under $5, it was a great deal. Next is this broom. And another project is going to be the play area or playroom for my grandkids. And I really want to have a play kitchen and I think this would be so cute in there. This was $4. Next, I found a pillow sham. This is linen quilted. It's from the higher end brand from Target. I forget how to say it. Casa Luna. They have a ton of beautiful linen bedding. This was originally $25. I got it new for $3. Unfortunately, there was only one, so I'm going to be on the lookout for another. Thrifting is a great way to get fabric if you sew. A lot of my fabric either comes from sheets, large items of clothing, or just fabric that they've got. One of the thrift stores I went to had all of their fabric for 50 cents a piece. So I got this really pretty pinstripe and this beautiful piece of denim. This is probably about two to three yards, um, brand new. I also picked up this little coat rack, great quality, solid wood, beautiful metal hooks and keyhole back. I know I'm going to be using some gold accents in my guest room, so I just picked up a little frame. And also this vintage mirror, beautiful. It's so heavy and it just has this um, gorgeous detail around the edge, slightly naturally distressed. And I picked this up at a flea market for $8. I've mentioned before that Goodwill does get donations from Target's clearance. And this is a threshold painting. And I love birds. I loved the frame and the mat. It's brand new, never been used. It was $10. I picked up a few baskets. I think this one will be used outside. And this one possibly in the kids' play kitchen. This is a longer burger. If you're not familiar with those, Goodness, I began collecting these in the late 80s, early 90s, I believe. Each one is handmade, hand signed from this company in Ohio. And the baskets are superb quality and they're so beautiful. You can get them in every shape and size, something to keep an eye out if you're thrifting. If you haven't seen my vacation thrift haul, I will link that below. It was the trip I took to Palm Springs where I mentioned my top 10 things that I look for when I'm thrifting. One of those is books. And in addition to looking for hardback books, I always make sure to take off the dust jacket and see what the book looks like underneath. Usually it's a beautiful linen cover, often in colors that I love to have in my home. They're great for decor, great for um, propping up items, using as fillers, adding height to a vignette. They're just wonderful. And I intentionally get books that mean something to me, something about cooking or gardening or decorating. I've got a whole stack here. This is um, The Complete Cook by uh, Cordon Bleu School in France. And I found this lovely garden book. It's so pretty. It just has some beautiful photographs of gardens and um, patios, porches, very inspiring this time of year. And I think possibly my favorite book of this haul, well, I do love this Wright Brothers book. Isn't that so cute? Um, but this one is called In and Out of the Garden. And the author, Sarah Mita, has hand-drawn all of these beautiful drawings in this book. 
It's just gorgeous. I could just sit and look at all these beautiful watercolor paintings. This one's gonna go in the guest room. I also found these two bookends. So these will be great when I organized my bookcase. Um, it came as a pack of two for $2.79, which I thought was a great price. I can leave them natural, I could paint them white, distress them, lots of options, but beautiful solid wood. Now this haul was amazing for the things that I'm gathering for my potting bench. I regularly pot plants and usually I just end up out in the gravel on the driveway or at the kitchen counter and I really want a dedicated space for that. So here is one thing that I can't wait to put a plant in. It's just a gravy boat. It's from England. I love the blue and white pattern. It is pretty beat up and I probably wouldn't use it for gravy, but it's going to be awesome as a planter. I'm always looking for plain white pots. I use these the most often, as well as terracotta. And I have seen some terracotta that is more expensive in thrift stores than it is at a hardware store, which is amazing to me. This On this shopping day, I hit the jackpot with tons of terracotta priced at a dollar or less. Some of these little guys were 40 cents each. And even for these bigger ones, they were only a dollar. In keeping with the white theme, I also like using these little dishes, 80 cents, and even this adorable little sugar bowl without the lid with um, ivy growing out of it, a little succulent in it, I think will be perfect. I'm always looking for galvanized metal as well. Found this mini tin and also this little stoneware crock which stoneware is just so popular right now. Um, definitely the boho theme, the 70s look, it's all back. If I potted a little plant in here, it would make a really nice gift. I just wanna remind you that thrifting is an amazing way to keep your costs down and stay within budget for your decorating projects. It's hard to be tempted by the amount of things at a thrift store and when you can get amazing prices, there is a tendency to overbuy. I encourage you to think very carefully about what you bring into your home. Either follow the one in one out rule whenever possible, or make sure that you're buying something for a very specific purpose. I'm also thrilled about the purchase of this two tiered tray. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this on the potting bench or in the kitchen or in a bathroom. It's just so versatile. It could be used anywhere. I'm pretty sure it was $5 and I just loved it. Again, certain things are just classic as far as your style or um, how something can be used. And I knew I could use this in several places in my home. Oh, I forgot this guy, this little topiary. And um, it was covered in vines before, a faux, a faux vine, and it was all wrapped around so that it looked like a topiary. And I just used some wire cutters and unwound it and cut them off. It's a solid metal um, topiary frame, which this whole thing was $4. And for the pot and the frame alone, I would have happily paid that. So I will get to use this on hopefully a live topiary. I'm so glad you came along to see my latest thrift haul. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope that you will hit that button and the notification bell. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And stay tuned as I begin to use all of these things in my home, which will be shown in future videos. Thank you for joining me today on The Peaceful Home. Have a great day.